Welcome back, everybody, into the uh, Hanzo Genji Cup qualifi last chance qualifier. My name is Bahamut on the left-hand side. We're going to be seeing Wan Direction versus Sexy Probius on the right. Map number one going to be Towers of Doom. We did have a ban on a Garden of Terror, Cursed Hollow, Sky Temple, and Battlefield. This is going to be first pick chosen by the side of uh, Sexy Probius, so map choice did come out from Wan Direction. This is the uh, standard Heroes of Storm play. No Meta Madness style of drafts, no... No heroes that are picked in played are unavailable. No baseline tournament bans. All 90 heroes are available. Bans, of course, will, you know, reduce that. Excuse me, at the uh, top of the screen, but there's no carryovers or anything like that. So we could see Vikings, we could see Malfiri, and we could see four, we could see three games of Genji in a row. Uh, but thank you all for joining me. I don't know what other spiels. Usually my spiel is a lot longer with, like, meta madness explanation and stuff and now we're here in towers of doom and i have to like analyze and talk about a draft early on i watched scorpions yesterday so it's been a very sunday sunday scorpions like scorpion king like the 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 horrible the horrible sequel to to the mummy with the rock in the late 90s god that movie was awful god that movie was freaking horrible uh, Stitches, Greymane, Malfurion, and Vikings. We got some fun teams here. We got some fun, uh, players. I believe, uh, Sexy Probius was the team that ran Butcher yesterday. I'm pretty sure they were the team that ran Butcher, so that'll be, that'll be fun if we bring out some, some showstoppers here. But we're gonna start things out with a Murden. I don't know. Game's normal. <laughs> Good spiel. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. No, the ban. Uh, I, I don't know it. I don't know it, Quid. What's up, Lazy Hydra? All right, we got a Blaze locked in here for Juan Direction. We'll follow that up with a Lucio as well. Things like Brightwing are still up and available for the Hyper Shift. This is Towers of Doom, so Dahaka could be a priority pick right now for the set of Sexy Probius. I do very much love Dahaka on this map for the Double Soak ability. His Wave Clear is great. Brush Talk is fantastic. CC potential is, is very high, especially with Feeding Frenzy level 7. Is this a Chogol game? Every game's a Chogol game, if you believe. There is I heed the voice of Elun. Um. Um. I mean, we're shaping up for a hyper carry here. And I don't think it's Vala. I think there's gonna be, a, I think this is a butcher. I think this is gonna be a butcher again. Sexy Probius played a butcher yesterday, so it wouldn't be crazy. It wouldn't be crazy for for them to to to, to play it to take it again here. Excuse me. Uh, if they are gonna go into butcher, I'd like to see a Johanna ban. Uh, they do need a tank on the left hand side, and get rid of, getting rid of that would be nice. Yep. Okay. All right. Okay. Cheers, Chad. Happy Sunday. I got water. May still has a blind baseline, but. At least you're getting rid of. At least you're getting rid of the double. It's a Chogal, duh. Honestly, you could could you you could double soak with Muradin. You could technically double soak with Muradin. I don't think it would be that great. I mean, Sledgehammer would speed things up, but that's a single target. Uh, I personally would like to see Dahaka Butcher. Like, if we're going for memory, if we're going for craziness, I I would like to see Dahaka. Who's gonna clear? Okay, all right. I mean, I was 50% there. The That band that sings song about wind have changed. I still don't know. I think this, I think, I think this is not the first time someone's brought up that band to me and I'm like, I don't know who that is. And they're like, I can't believe you don't know. Um. Okay, this is a game. This is this is this is a game. We're 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 gonna have some heroes, and it's gonna unfold.
All right. Which team's gonna win Towers of Doom? Quan Direction or Sexy Probius? Here we go. I I I I don't know what to expect from all of this. I'm I'm excited that this is gonna be this is gonna be a fun one. This is gonna be really fun. On the left hand side, we're looking at One Direction with a shredded win. Lucio TV Coffee on your Blaze. Nathanatos will be playing Leoric. A Juan Pablo on Junkrat, and Rhett will play the May. No mount synergies. Right side of the map. Well, they try. They got 50%. Well, I wouldn't say 50%. We got the side of Sexy Probius with a Jotok playing your Ariel. Uh, Five, four, Vin will be the three, Maev. Two, Tam on... One. Not Maev, sorry, Valera. Tam will be playing Butcher. Kalamassi playing Taranda. Wait. And Dark Horse on Murden. Where's the early... Wait, where's the early game Sentinel? Taranda, where's the early game Sentinel? We can't... People can't bet unless you throw a Sentinel. Oh my god, no sentinel at all? What is this madness? What is this? What? Oh, well, I guess the first one didn't connect, right? Yeah, because it didn't hit anyone and it saw it go off the map and it's true shot aura level one. All right, well, there you go. Uh, we got our teams. The first sentinel didn't hit. Lunar Flare will connect right there. This is gonna be, as I mentioned, the true shot aura level one for our Taronda. Junkrat with the extra wound timers. Butcher a little bit low. Seven meat will not be lost. Valera is still chilling around. She did go into regeneration globe. Level one with the Vigor. Ban everyone except for Bandit. I agree. There's a strong chance for a 40 and oh no. All right, well, uh, right now, we've got Wan Direction just invading this camp. Sentinel connecting there, but either way, Sappers on the right side will be grabbed, and they all make it into the tower, taking out the sidewall. May soaks up the lane. We have a top lane Ariel. I was about to say, that looks like it is a bot, and it is going to exactly be that, so let's jump out of the game. Uh, Gamble is still going, if if that if anyone's swayed. Uh, one player, yeah, one player DC'd, so. In proper tournaments is banned, so usually, yeah, it, it, so it, it boils down to, and I think Stark said it pretty well here, it just boils down to if teams really care. Um, like, the rule for a lot of these things is typically if if a team doesn't want to deal with it or go up against it, they have to say something within the first X amount of minutes. That's how a lot of tournaments do it, but there's some players out there that don't care about these minute differences. And some some people could say, oh, the, there's an advantage. Maybe. I... I don't know. It's Heroes of the Storm. <laughs> it's a game that gets no support from the developers, pretty much. And uh, people have egos bigger than League of Legends players. Double kill going over to the side of One Direction as they're going to open up bottom lane. It's looking pretty good for the members of our blue team. Sorry, I'm just double checking everything's working out properly as we swap back into game from that slight little DC. But it's two ga uh, two kills in the early game, and a triple alter phase coming up. We'll see if the 40 and 0 dream is doable. I think I think sexy Probius can say it, scale. I I got the copium hope for for butcher. I'd like to see a late game butcher here. But, uh, don't know if that's gonna be the case. Right now, this Ariel's getting beaten up a bit. Um, does she not have a hat on Butcher? Go forth and in my name. She doesn't. Lord she doesn't have a it. thing on Butcher, I don't think. You have done so that's a little awkward. Uh, rotation up. So we've got four shots into the right, eight shots into the right, and now we have a big team fight over here. Top right of the map. Butcher's going to be dove on immediately by Blaze. We got a Lunar Flare from Toronto connecting onto said Blaze as Rhett comes in with an icing. The Thanatos low. Butcher charges in. Little short distance Wraith walk out. Valera has enough damage. 
and will be able to take down this Leoric with the Flurry Blades. Blades of Flurry? Blades... I forget the name of the talent. Or basic ability. Leoric once again poking in, uses the Sinister, sinister Strike to dive away. Leoric draining some... well, I guess he's not really draining health, but he's cheating a bit of death right there. Respawns, actually gets the drain onto this Butcher, but doesn't find the last little bit of damage to take down any of his stacks, and this is gonna be a few more kills going over to the side of Wand Direction. Enough of this we'll bring down the <laughs> <laughs> I think the word you're looking for there is ejected. Ejected. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it has to do with animation stuff. Like, uh, patch, the, the cuddle... Cuddle Bear Stitches, I believe is the name. Basically, it's the it's the Stitches skin that makes him look like a giant teddy bear. Uh, when that Stitches when that skin came out, I remember I was playing a game against a butcher or playing or not a butcher. Uh, sorry, it's playing a game as a Stitches, and I remember I popped Putrid Bile and I go, oh, this skin's gonna get banned in tournaments because the Putrid Bile's really hard to see on certain tile sets, specifically Towers of Doom. Uh, Tyrael's got one of his Mecha skins is banned because some of the abilities. Like, Holy Ground is kind of hard to see. Uh, Cybernetic Kael'thas is banned away, and that's Rhett. Rhett? Okay. Uh, Cybernetic Kael'thas is banned away. The big reason was on the old Sky Temple tile set, it was hard to see the flame strikes. It's a bit easier now, but I still think that skin is still banned because of the same reason. Uh, the mount, the bat mounts for Arthas and Kerrigan are banned away because the model sizes are hard to... The, like, it's hard to see the, the model properly. Invisible Horses banned away. That one I don't really get, because people were like, I can't tell if someone's mounted, and that's kind of weird to me, but whatever. So yeah, there's a few, but it's usually very minute things that some players see, but I, I don't know. Anyways, we've had a couple kills here, back and forth. 106 stacks for our Butcher currently. Next objective phase is up and available, and as it was pointed out in chat earlier, the 40 no Dream is alive. Why is that a big deal? Because typically it's very hard to win 40 0 on Towers of Doom. Uh, is there an avalanche for May? There is. May has avalanche. May has avalanche. It's already level 10. They're all lined up for it! Oh my god, where is it? There it is. Well, that's a 1.5 second stun. They steal away the boss. Riptire from Junkrat is cancelled immediately. I think Valir was getting that pressure onto him or might have actually interrupted. Might have been an interrupt. Yeah, it's on the 10 second. Oh my god, it's a massacre chat. Oh yeah, the, the mech materials banned because the hearth animation of the skin looks like judgment. You're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. I forgot about that one. Okay, um... <laughs> is this a sub 11 minute game? It may just be, depending if this uh, top bell tower gets converted over to the side of One Direction. The Entomb from Leoric will find Calamansi. The Starfall is activated. Nathanatos low gets charged in by the Butcher. Riptire from Junkrat coming out as well, creating some space as the. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. Combustion Blaze? Look, it may it may be it may be eleven to two in kills. It may be thirteen to ten in our experience. It may be forty to eleven. We have a combustion blaze. <laughs> Single altar coming up at the bottom of the map as the top lane bell tower is being worked on. Blaze currently just rotating down there to get that channel, while the rest of the allies start the bla the I wouldn't say black harp barrage. Sorry, the Raven Lord barrage. They only get this down to 50%. Blaze has channel. That's 5 HP remaining. Butcher tries to charge in. A little awkward interaction. Avalanche connects onto two. That's a one second stun. Lucio, or Ice, excuse me. May for the icing tries to jump in. Lambda Slaughter out from Butcher. No one seems to be low on the left hand side. It's actually a lot of low red health bars, even with his double support composition. In two onto two, there's an assist ping as Taranda does go down. Jotok will fall as well. Both healers out of this. Riptire from Junkrat. 
Not even gonna be activated as they use it onto the fort. May is gonna reset and um Wow. Murden's trying to clear things out in mid, so they're not taking too many shots. But coffee is rotated in. There's no minion wave. Four shots need to go through. The GG is already called. And this is. I. This is, I think, the fastest Towers of Doom game I've ever casted. Butcher, unfortunately, does not scale up. The last shot from the Raven Lord will be coming through. And the Gravekeeper does fall. Nine minutes and 17 seconds. Fastest map in Hanzo Genji Cup. Okay, time for Probius to turn around and get me 100... <laughs> 111,000 channel points. Uh-huh. Um... Okay. All right. Um, that was that was that was a map. That was a series of events that unfolded in front of our eyes. And that was uh, the fastest Towers of Doom map I think I've ever casted in my life. Nine minutes, seventeen seconds. Probably fastest map for Hanzo Genji Cup. Period. I don't even think I ran out the ads there. I I didn't even run out the ads. Well, hopefully it all works out for us here. All right. Well, um, yeah, I've never been I've never been popular enough with the developers of this game to uh, warrant any sort of uh, casting stuff outside of outside of uh, Tespa Collegiate series, and that was honestly because there was a there was a void that needed to be filled, and they were like, let's get someone who still does hots because so many people left, so the pool was kind of small. I had a D&D &D go last night. We didn't die. That's always good. We didn't die. Uh, we killed stuff. We killed we killed imperious pos imposters, and. Yeah, it was a good time. There was, there was like a, there was like a lot of little stuff we did, but it's it's kind of hard to explain without more context. So let's talk about Heroes of the Storm. We've got Alterac Pass for map number two in this first best of three of the day with a first pick Illidan. <laughs> you know what? I I I looked at this. Uh, cause there's, there's, there's two best of threes to start out the day. And so I was like, I'll do the other one. So that way there's coverage of games. And I was like, you know what? I think this is going to be the more fun best of three. It may be a, it may be a bit one-sided as we saw after that map number one, but I do think this, this series will have the most fun drafts. I think this series of the day will have the most fun drafts. We'll see. Everything else is going to be sweaty, try hard games, but this one, this is going to be the fun one of the day. I left the party with a big moral dilemma to solve. I mean, yeah, it, it is, it is. Like I was listening to everyone's like opinion, or not opinion, but um, I was listening to everyone's kind of game plan that they wanted to employ to deal with um, this giant relic thing that shouldn't get into the hands of anyone evil. But my, my logic was like, well, if no one knows about it and it's been this many years, then we should we should just keep it like that. I mean, then no one knows about it, so. I thought my resolution was pretty good, but we figured we figured out a pretty pretty decent resolution. So we'll see. We'll see how things unfold. Who knows? Who knows? The the, the, the bad guy could just be uh lurking in the shadows and just step out the moment we leave. I'm not sure, but we got a Uther and Sylvanas band away. Abathur, Diablo, Illidan on the left-hand side. Brightwing, Vala for the right. Seeing a new Barak. Okay. What's the spice here? What's the spice coming out from Sexy Probius? Is it a Probius? Okay. Samuro. New Barak, not too bad, with a Vala in mid, Brightwing Hypershift. They're gonna need some sort of solo laner here. They're like if if they could pick up a Dahaka, that'd be fantastic. But I I talked about Dahaka a bunch last time and um, no one even looked at it, so. 
Dahaka may not be a priority whatever, whatsoever. Uh, they're gonna try and, are they trying to speed run this map right now? I mean, it's not Juice Pirates, but there is a whole heck load of damage. Like, Illidan, Karazim, Val, uh, Valera, sorry. Illidan, Karazim, and Greymane siege really, really well. Abathur ha uh, helps out quite a bit. Sexy Probius pick up the Valera once again. We'll see how it works out. I'll start up a prediction. Uh, let's see how, let's see how this game goes. Okay, five minute gamble, get going. All right, water is done. I have successfully watered myself. I don't know why that sounds not okay. <laughs> I have drank all the water I need to drink. Now we can swap the tea. Alrighty, everybody. Map number two in our first best of three of the day. Thanks for hanging out. And let's get into it. Alterac Pass. Thank you, Ashmanta, for the gamble. Uh, I believe we can do that redemption after this game as we're getting set up for our next game. Maybe jump into the other best of three and see how that one's going. We got TV Coffee playing Abathur. Nathanatos on your Illidan. Juan Pablo will be the gray main. Shredded win on the Karazim. And Diablo to be played by Rhett. Sure thing, gray main. Right side will be Sexy Probius with a Jotok on Samuro. Then will be your Valera. Kalamasi playing Brightwing. Tam on the... Vala and Dark Horse will be your Anubarak. Is, is it now Juan Pablo? Maybe he's got a bingo square to use his uh, voice line off cooldown. That is one of my favorite bingo squares. Round and round it goes. Where Samuro stops, no one knows. All right, how are we doing on gambles here? 420 on Sexy Probius. Okay, we got we got we got four, we got a belief in the Sexy Probius team. Illidan in top lane trying to get away. Samuro does not have enough damage with Valir's assistance to take down. I I I couldn't remember any name for him, but the demon. I what is what is Illidan's other titles? Samuro is going to be still in top lane up against this, this Illidan. He did go into Way of Wind level 1. We actually see the... We don't see Hyper Shift level 1. What? I think this is like the first game in... Like ever that I've not seen a Bright Wing take Hyper Shift level 1. And it's not like there's a second support or anything. That's kind of interesting. Okay. Well, I mean, Greater Polymorph passively increase the Polymorph range by 30%. If Brightwing hits the hero with Arcane Flare Center within two seconds of being Polymorph, then reduce the Polymorph cooldown by seven seconds and gain 50 mana. Ah, oh, the Betrayer! Betrayer, yes, that's right, that's right. What's up, Wildfire? Good morning. Yeah, my, my World of Warcraft lore is very, very bad. And my Warcraft lore is very bad in general. Okay, so either way, we have mid lane being shoved in. Null pack camps grabbed by both sides. Looks like both of those will be cleared away. A fight to break out here in mid as Valera dumps some damage onto a few enemies, but it's Illidan trying to jump into the face of the Samura who gets the face shift from Brightwing. Meanwhile, Vala with auto attack build level one is able to back behind the gate. And Illidan dives in deep trying to get a kill. Won't be able to do so. It's going to be Samuro traded, though, one for one, as Abathur continues to hat soak the top lane. 10k on Juan Direction to win. Mm, I can't, can't blame you, chat. Okay, we got full Windwalk build for our Samuro currently. So full Polymorph build for our Brightwing. At level 4, she's going to go into Unstable Anomaly, which this one we do see often. We increase the Polymorph slow by 15%. Upon expiration, Polymorph deals damage to the nearby enemy heroes equal to 2% of their maximum health. Mr. Bandit, you got some Tasty Paws? What's up, bud? Diablo being Dovon in mid. Bro, what if, what if Sexy Probius does win this game? So that payout is gonna be insane. Yeah, so someone's like, well, maybe, you know, maybe, maybe the stars align. 
Maybe One Direction, the, all of their keyboards get unplugged and they can't they can't request a pause and then they lose the game. Maybe just Vandar Stormpike dies. Who knows? I appreciate those of you playing the odds, thank you. Just know that your channel points are being spread to other community members. You're not losing channel points, you're sharing channel points. They're our channel points, comrade. <laughs> So down on the right side, we do have the sticky flare for Brightwing as the subjective phase continues to get channeled by One Direction. Samuro dives on to Greymane. Meanwhile, Shredded Wind looking to pressure a few enemies. We do have Nathanatos really low. Actually, well, he's not that low. I thought his health bar was dropping drastically, but that's not the case whatsoever. Shredded Wind comes in with some heals. We've got also, of course, Illidan healing. Why does the music feel like it's getting very loud? Oh, it's because the Xbox showcase started on my other monitor. I was like, why is the music getting all intense all of a sudden? All right, that's why. No, I mean, not that I would watch other streams while I'm currently streaming. I just need to know if Microsoft's gonna save hots today. <laughs> you know, because that's so logical. Microsoft, you just laid off another 1,500 people. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure they're gonna they're gonna invest in this MOBA. Oh yeah, I'm. I, I just any second now, the entire Xbox showcase will just be hots. But the objective phase will be coming through here in the mid lane. Decent damage onto the fort. Sidewalls being taken out. A new Brack managing bottom. Are both these teams NA? Indeed. I mean, TV Coffee is is is, is Australia. Uh, no, is from New Zealand. Sorry, don't want to make that mistake because that is actually rude to do. Uh, TV Coffee is from New Zealand. I think there's Juan Pablo is Canada. Actually, hold on, I got it over here. No, Nathanatos is is Canada. Juan Pablo is is from America. At least that is an American flag next to his name. Uh, Sexy Probius. Only only one player on Sexy Probius is listed on the Liquipedia, but I assume. Because I know Storm League Enjoyers is the all-Polish team, and then you have HGC EU Lull, who qualified yesterday, and that's the Hazuobs team. Are you saying it's Juan on Juan at this point? Yes, thank you, that was clever. Oh! Okay. Valir goes down. Seven sided strike from Karazim. Invade onto the camp as Illidan does have his metamorphosis demonic form out. Big ol' damage dropped into Illidan. He's gonna tank a couple tower shots trying to dive through the enemies. Unfortunately, the Aperture Hat's not enough. Diablo Shadow charges in. Bladestorm from the Samuro as the Lightning Breath is activated. Jotok getting really low. Soothing Mist activated by the Brightwing. And that will be Diablo going down. A very greedy invade to be punished right now, but Juan Pablo, excuse me, Juan Direction, I mean, they're, they're in the lead here in the series and on the map so far, as we take a take stock of what's been taken down after that first objective. We did have mid lane fort completely taken down, top lane opened up, and also keep in mind, Abathur does have Mule. Now, nicely done in top lane, fort front gate has been taken down there, Mule doing work in mid, and bottom is fully healthy. There was that boss grabbed early on in the game for top lane, and that's what did get this value onto the fort front gate. Oh, goodbye, Illidan. You know those those sexy those sexy Probius believers are kind of like, wait a minute, it's five to three in kills. Sexy Probius is technically in the lead as they will start the channel in the second objective phase, which is going to be 40 seconds of channel time needed, three jailers to defend. Illidan dead for seven more seconds. Oh, I'm just happy that we get Heroes of Storm in general. I, I don't, I don't, I don't need Heroes of the Storm matches to be the number one GM versus, you know, I don't need it to be GMs one through 10 versing each other. It could be, it could literally be the lowest 10 players in the game rank wise. I, I'm happy to cast Tots. I love this game, I love this community. I'm not a snob when it comes to rank or anything like that. 
Big fire stomp out from Diablo right now. Rhett trying to back away. Juan Pablo is inside that cocoon. It does expire. Another fire stomp from Diablo healing up a bit. He's going to drop the lightning breath. It's Vala and Valera to go down. I apologize. Illidan mopping up the fight on the low end of this. I thought Diablo was going to go down, but it's quite the opposite. It's a few members of... Sexy Probius, who will back away. They don't get the channel on the objective. Invade onto the camp. Not even really invade, it's just taking the camp after the quadra kill comes through. And that experience gap is now shifted over to the side of One Direction. You're getting your hopes up? Ah, oh, see, that's what you get for getting your hopes up. <laughs> you should have never got your hopes up there, Foo Fighter. Should have never got your hopes up. All right, second objective phase. We'll go over to the side of one direction. Shredded Wind gonna reset. Abathur just body soaking a little bit here and there. 46 damage, level 14. Okay, so we we made a bunch of jokes over the past like week about structures being down to like 50 HP. I'm like, dude, one Abathur slap could take it. Not at this time, but I believe like at level 20 when I've made that comment before, he would definitely have 50 auto attack damage. Currently, has 46. If you're wondering. Illidan with the Abathur hat applied for a moment. Abathur did go into... Is that the level 4? No. What's the... Oh, no. The barrier was just persisting still. Okay. Never mind. I know there's a talent that, that has bar barrier persist a little bit longer, but I think that's actually only on a minions. Either way, Illidan is going to be able to metamorphosis out. Okay. He attacks the sidewall to heal up a little bit, cool down on some of his basic abilities. But this will be bottom lane fort going down. Mid lane keep front gate has been opened up a little bit here from the side of Wan Direction. So Shadow Charge lands on Davala. She's going to try and back away. The Lightning Breath, with the help of Karazim, punches will be able to take down the Demon Hunter. And meanwhile, a seven sided strike is activated. Valera. Pops her cloak of shadows trying to get away. A fire stomp through a few of these enemies. Tries to get the reveal. Valera able to get the sinister strike out. Calamancy able to blink heal over to the ally. But Dark Horse shall go down, unfortunately. Mid lane keep is going to be taken out as well. It's 9 to 5 in kills, 16 to 14 in levels. And we're 11 minutes in with the first keep falling on the side of Sexy Probius. Dive on Davala here, but there's nothing more than just that. Illidan's gonna back away towards his allies. I assume this is boss call for bottom. They actually might boss an end. Like, death timers are low, but getting two keeps down. This keep's already, what, 60%? So boss should confirm it. I don't see how it doesn't. And we got three quarters of a level to go for Sexy Probius as... Abathur in top lane slows down Samura Siege. Looks like it's going to be traded bosses. Yeah, a few well taps. They're, go they're going to push bottom and maybe take the game. Alrighty, so there's that. Bottom lane keep is exposed. Illidan dives in. Decent damage already. The boss isn't even here. This is looking like it's going to be game push to end. Okay, so they're going to recall out. So will Brightwing. Illidan gets dove on immediately by Valir. It has the Abathur hat trying to jump back. Metamorphosis will be activated. Polymorph immediately. Karazim jumping in as well to help out the ally. Rain of Vengeance from Vala coming through as another cleansing dash from Karazim is in... Lloyd onto this Illidan, and that will allow him to be able to dive onto Val and find the kill. Boss has already dropped the health of Drek'thar down to 50% with the help of Greymane. A big slam from the boss. Brightwing with a blink heal. Shredded Wind wants to shred through the Valir's health bar, and we'll be able to dash onto her and find that kill. Alone Brightwing, as they won't be able to take her down. No team kill, and that's going to be a very fast 2-0 for the side of One Direction. GG, well played. Bro, we are speed running. I thought speed runs were on Wednesdays now. I thought our speed run day was Wednesdays. What the heck is this?
All right. Um. So yeah, that was a game that happened. Uh, G GGs. GGs over to, to to One Direction. They move in. They they continue through the bracket. Uh, is this single elimination, double elimination? What is this? Excuse me, the allergies are just killing me still. Yesterday I went outside to walk, uh, like to, to let the dogs out because I didn't want to walk them again. So I was like out in the backyard with the dogs for like, I don't know, like 10, 15 minutes and I came back inside my eyes were just burning again. Oh my God. The, 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 the pine pollen allergies this year are just, oh, they're just rough. 